Hello everyone. Uh, hope you're doing well. My name is Lucas. I built I built web apps, and um, today I just want to show you a little tool that I use um, when I build landing pages for for the apps that I built. So um, I really like this tool called Framer, and um, Framer is basically like a no code uh, website building tool. It's similar to to Webflow, but it's based on React. And um, I really like to use this tool called FramePad. And basically what FramePad is, it's a component library for Framer. So you have different types of hero sections, different types of features sections, um, FAQs, uh, nav bars, etc. And they come like this, like they look like wireframes. So basically uh, it's perfect for you because it's black and white. So you can just add your branding add your text that you want to add into. And um, it's very, very easy to use. And I just want to give you a quick overview of how I use it. So, and the reason why I like to use Framer is because, I mean, you can already see here, it looks very clean. It loads very fast. These pages load very quickly. Um, there's a lot of possibility when, uh, when it comes to design and animation. And um, I mean, you can also use something like WordPress too. It's, it's free. So framers, um, you have to pay for framer. Um, I think it's about like $15 a month for the, uh, like base, the, for the basic websites. Um, anyways, but I love the design from framer. So that's why I use it. And, um, frame pad, uh, I believe it costs, yeah, a hundred, a hundred nine dollars. So this one is, is for like personal use. And this one is for, I mean, if you're like an agency, for example, um, you can use this one to basically build websites for your clients or, or make uh, templates. I think it's not, it's, it's more for templates. Um, so I have this one because I'm basically using it for my personal um, projects. And what I do is basically the following. I, um, let's just open framer here real quick. When you, once you have a frame pad, um, they give you a project like this that you, that you clone and they have different types of pages here um they have like the colors um typography so you can change all of these colors these are like assets like this is like um the primary color and then this is like a primary surface color it's very very organized everything i love it i don't really go so um into detail here uh i just i just like to um change these things here like the, the primary colors um, I also like to change the, the, the font um, sometimes, but it's not so important because it already looks nice with this inter font, I believe it is called, right? Um, yeah, inter. So what I want to show you today, the cool part is that um, you can build a framer site really quick with FramePad. And what do I mean by this? For example, you have different nav bars and let's say we open a new template here and um, we get uh, this drop down nav bar that looks pretty cool. We can just copy the component here, paste the component here, um, yeah, make it fill, and then let's just change this height to fit content so it's all correct. And then, yeah, we have a nav bar. Let's get a, a quick hero section just to show you. Let's copy and paste, and let's also make it fill. And then here you have like different variants. So this was desktop, desktop, perfect. This one has to be tablet or let's put it phone. Um, this one also has to be phone. This is desktop, okay. This has to be tablet. So basically you're just copy pasting and making sure everything is all right. So we already have a nav bar and a hero section in just a couple of seconds, which is great. So after that, you probably want something like a metrics um, section, uh, underneath um, you also want to put this in fill put this in, in tablet mode and this in phone and then let's just finish off the page by adding like a feature section like something like this and again let's just do the basics so tablet and phone and then let's just add um, a CTA like this let's just 
click here and then again let's fill the space tab it and phone and then at the end we just put the footer so we're finished with the basic site i'm just remember this is just to create really quick um uh, beautifully designed landing pages for your for your um, app and so let's just finish this and voila we have a wireframe um, just very basic here you can put some screenshots of how your app looks like here you can put some metrics if you have any traction um, here you can um, these can be like previews to the different pages that you can add and to do that you just click on this plus button and then you create the different pages um, you can copy this page. I, I would prefer. I would um, recommend you doing that, so you can duplicate it, so it keeps the same. Um, so you don't have to copy paste the nav bar and the footer again. Let's just put it like that. So you can put like feature one, feature two, feature three, feature four, and then here is like the download button again. So yeah, this is just and 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 let's just um, yeah. Let's in in order to to uh, edit all of these components. Basically, what you would do is you just double click like I just did, double click, unlink and replace all. And then these are basically React components. So if you repeat these in different sites, like if you edit this, if I add some picture, um, some random picture that I find in, in my, let's put the my thumbnail picture here. So if we keep this and we copy this and put it in a in another page, um, this is going to stay the same. And if we change the component, it's going to change in the other pages too, because it's basically a, a fixed component and, and it's going to stay the same in, in all the different pages. So that just keep that in mind. Um, but basically what you do is just double click, then you can, um, edit the component. If you just want to keep the component in one page, what I would do is after double clicking, I would detach this instance. So then this instance is just in this page. If you see it's blue instead of this purple it's blue and that means that um that design is just going to stay in this page so if you copy that design and you put it in another page and you change the wording um there's they're going to be different right um so yeah this is basically it i just wanted to give a, a you know a short um tutorial on how to use framepad and framer and um yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I love FramePad. Um, I'm gonna put a link to FramePad in this in the description, also to Framer, and I really recommend building um, sites uh, in in Framer. For example, I I just want to show you like kind of like the back end. I've been working on this um, web app um, with some of my Danish partners, the other um, with my German partners, um, uh, the last few weeks, and we built. Uh, this site with FramePad and with Framer. And this is basically how it kind of looks like. We have our different brands that we offer in our in our, um, our re-landing app. And we have an About Us page. We have a contact page. Um, and we have also integrated different products into our um, website. So it's basically like a catalog you can, you can say. And then we have like the different brand pages all built, <clears throat> sorry, with, with uh, FramePad and Framer. So yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, please um, uh, feel free to write me um, or, or write a comment on this video. And um, like and subscribe if you, if you like this content or, and, and please write, some, write something in the comments if you wanna learn more about something about these topics. So yeah, uh, hope you, uh, hope you learned something today and um, have a great day.